How's it going? Uh, Brian Dobbins here. Um, apparently my uh, camera decided to stop when I was going over uh, before. Um, but what I'm doing today is uh, I'm going to go over FX tutorial. Um, I already kind of got set up here, but uh, I'll go over everything again. Um, uh, first off, I'll show you a little bit of the tools that you'll be using. Uh, the uh, brush here. Um, it's just a normal brush I got at a uh, uh, art supply store. Um, it's a real nice brush. It's uh, more of a fine tip. Then uh, I also have this here. It's a um, clay sculpting tool. Um, you can also get that at a craft store. Uh, then uh, this here is a spatula that is used for paint. Uh, craft store or they also have ones that you can get bigger than this uh, that are actually for makeup or for wax um, this one works pretty good for me so I haven't really upgraded up to the, the other one so um, I have some fake blood uh, I got this from Walmart it was about a dollar last year before uh, right after um, Halloween was over uh, then I have the um, Cinema Secrets Wound Kit. Uh, we also got the black here too. Um, that's really good. It's for uh, like wounds or bruises. Uh, you can also do a lot of road rash. You can do a whole lot with that right there. Um, also have the face and uh, body wax. Um, that's what we're already have applied right now. Uh, then have a Q-tip. So. Uh, I don't know if you can see this very well, but uh, right here, uh, I laid down a uh, layer of wax, and I did so um, just uh, applying with uh, this here. I find this to be a little bit better because uh, you kind of spread it out a little bit easier, and um, it's not the best to work with once you uh, actually have the wax laid down, but um, after you get the wax laid down, uh, go to your spatula tool. If you don't have a spatula tool, you can use some other stuff. Um, uh, what I actually was using before uh, was uh, um, a paper clip. Uh, so you don't really have to get high tech or spend a lot of money to be able to open up the wound. All you have to do is open it up to how you want it. Just, uh, I already got it pre-done because I just uh, had the other tutorial up, uh, but it wasn't working. So, right after that, uh, here's what we get into. We go into uh, bruises. So, uh, I like to start with the um, this yellow color here for the, uh, it's more of a older bruise, but what it is, is I, I like to get it as a, a layer coat around and uh, on the actual wound itself and once you do just get it around here kind of just give it a little bit of extra color another thing uh, that's real good to use is uh, liquid latex but I don't have any right now so uh, I'm just kinda going out going without it here but uh, you can still get a good effect if you don't have the liquid latex so that's kinda getting worked in there and then uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, this is uh, another one of the wound colors. Uh, this one I believe is Dead Guy Purple. Um, it's another one from Cinema Secrets. So, just uh, take the purple, make sure you don't have too much, and then just kind of go inside the wound. And then just kind of keep going until you get a desired effect of that. What this does with the purple, it gives you a depth of the wound. Even though you're going to cover it up later, you still you still kind of see it. So this is the easiest to do with a brush. Uh, 
I have a little bit more expensive brush, but you don't really need an expensive brush to do it. You just need more of a, uh, a squared off brush, if you can see that. Uh, that's the one that works the best, I think. So, get that in there. Alright, uh, that just kind of gives it a little bit of a depth. Uh, once you get that, um, go over to this uh, kind of a red color. Uh, just uh, I like to use my finger instead of actually using the um, sponges that you see. Some people like using those, but I feel like I can uh, more or less blend this a little bit better with my with my finger. Uh, blending um, by the uh, wax itself is a little bit harder if you don't have the latex on it like I don't. Uh, but what you can do is just kind of dab it like this. It'll it'll uh, blend it a little bit easier. Another thing, um, if you're using tools and you find that your wax is 